okay so in today's video guys we are going to prepare a fixed asset then the next part we are going to do a balance sheet so we have to complete our fixed assets first before we go to balance it because we are going to use the totals that we are going to get okay so let's check our question paper that we have so 1.2 they say prepare notes for tangible assets then the balance sheet we're gonna do it on the separate video okay then this is the skeleton that we are going to use the first part we are going to record balances at the beginning additional and balance at the end okay now let's take balances at the beginning balances at the year end it was given on the extract of pre-adjustment trial balance of manchester trader on 28 february 2018 okay so those balances unless they specify on the like for accumulated depreciation they specify that is for 28 february 2018 but if they didn't specify uh, guys we assume that is for the year end okay now let's start with the cost price the cost price of land and building um it was given uh, even on the answer book okay if you check on the answer book uh, they give us amount okay apologies for this one i was assuming that this column is for the year end so it's for the beginning okay according to the structure that i use so this balance is for the year end that we are given which is 1,250,000 so we don't have accumulated depreciation when it comes to land and building which means that we're gonna subtract zero and left with the same amount of 1.250 okay now we have to check additional information number four they say the following detail concern fixed assets the relevant entries concerning the fixed assets has been correctly recorded they say the extension to the building is 500,000. It's like additional. So additional of 500,000. Okay. So remember this is the balance at the end. Which means that when we go up, we are going to do what? To subtract so that we can find how much was the balance before we add what? Additional. Okay. Which means that we're just going to subtract and get 750. It's gonna be 750 even on current value because accumulated is zero in this case okay so now let's take the cost price of equipment we were given which is 550 but accumulated we need to calculate okay and also for vehicle it was given as 1.650 thousand okay now let's proceed let's proceed let's check the amount of accumulated if it is it was given yes accumulated for the year end it was given it's two hundred thousand. there was no max allocation for this one and one eight because it was there on the answer book which means that now you can be able to calculate what this two amount okay then for this one, the current value it was five fifty thousand, and this one is gonna give us one point five twenty thousand. Okay, just like that. Okay, let's proceed. If you check additional information number, the last one, depreciation for the year was calculated as follow: equipment depreciation was calculated remember land and building no depreciation okay depreciation you have to write it in your bracket so it was given for equipment they say is thirty five thousand, and as well as for vehicle it was given as forty eight thousand. Forty eight thousand. okay now we need to check if there was any additional information between these two is there any equipment purchased or vehicle during the year? Yes. If you check number, blade number two, a new computer of 15,000 was purchased. That's equipment. 15,000, it was additional information purchased on 1 December 20, 
17 okay it's still within our year because our year started 1 march 2017 okay a new delivery vehicle of 184 was bought on credit 1 january 2018 yes it's this one 184 simple as that now we want to get our cost price at the beginning what do we do we take this one and we subtract what was added then we're gonna get 535,000. The tricky part uh, about this fixed asset is, is because we are doing like a reverse. We are not starting from top to bottom. That's a tricky part that you have to be very careful about. Okay. Then the other one, if you subtract um, the cost price of 1.650 minus 184 is gonna give you 1466 thousand very simple okay then now uh, when it come to accumulated depreciations is very simple as well remember we said opening plus addition then it's gonna give you give us this one which means that when we do a reverse we just have to subtract okay two hundred thousand minus fifteen thousand is gonna give us a accumulated of 165,000 at the beginning and you do the same this side this one minus depreciation uh, is gonna give you 82 82,000 okay this one is 48,000 guys it's not 408 48,000 then it's gonna give you 82,000 okay this one is not 180, it's 180. Apologies for that. Then 180 minus 48 is going to give you this one. So if you do this, uh, you are going to get a 16 max for free. So you have to make sure that you balance everything, guys, because this part is a chocolate mark. It's a free max, in other words. So make sure that you get it. Okay? So on the next video, we are going to do a balance it. So check on playlist for grade 11 so that you can check the balance it as well uh, following the same question